probably the most common myth in conservation is that uh, CITES imposes a ban on rhino horn trade. CITES doesn't address specific species with specific rules. What CITES does is it says there are categories of protection. So those animals that are, uh, you know, whose populations are of concern are Appendix 3. Those animals that are approaching endangered status are Appendix 2. And those animals that need the highest level of protection are Appendix 1. And the same rules apply for all Appendix 1 or all Appendix 2 or all Appendix 3 animals. Uh, as apply to any of the others. So, uh, for instance, elephants, tigers, those are Appendix 1, so are rhino. And the same rules apply to rhino as apply to elephant or as apply to, to tigers. Um, and all those rules say is that it is uh, not permitted to import, the export's actually not that uh, carefully governed, it's not permitted to import Appendix 1 species from the wild for commercial purposes. So those are the three tests. Is it for import, is it from the wild, and is it for commercial purposes? If, it, if any of those is not satisfied, then the trade may proceed. So for instance, if it's not from the wild, if it's from what CITES calls a captive breeding population, then it can be traded. So that is CITES' primary um, tool for uh, protecting the animals in the wild. It says, if you've got responsibly established populations that can be kept separate from the wild and bred to provide for the uh, economic demand, then that protects the wild from predation. Uh, uh, so that's, that's really the mechanism for rhino because we protect the rhino within private conservation spaces in a way that satisfies CITES' definition of captive breeding. Um, and we can remove a portion of the horn every year and it grows back and that's done in a way that doesn't hurt the rhino, it doesn't scar the rhino, uh, it, it doesn't change the rhino's behavior or physicality in any way, um, and it's a renewable resource and, and so we trim it. Uh, so that we can provide uh, you know, to satisfy the demand uh, that is out there without any animals being hurt.